Hi there, it's Diane Hanks with a special informative session about lipstick. You know, I hope that when you are looking at my videos and looking at makeoversession.com and you see different pictures of, of, you know, of me and other women that you do notice all the finishing details that we do use and one of those is lipstick and having just the right shade of lipstick for your outfit it's just such a it's just such a nice little punctuation to have oh the perfect shade of lipstick and I, I'm telling you I have probably a shade of lipstick for every outfit that I have maybe even more and I have just tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes of lipstick. Well, how do you keep it all organized? How do you do that? I mean, I, I've taught lots of different makeover classes also, and I eventually wanted to have people sample different ones and have it be um, germ-free and all of that. So I got an idea from one of my colleagues, and I, I want to make sure that I give her the proper credit because I do not take credit for this, but I want to share it. And I, I believe it was Sharla Gooch that gave me this tip, but I'm going to share it, pass it along with you, and then you can pass it along and just spread the love, share the joy about it. So let's say you have three or four separate uh, tubes of lipstick that you really just love. And if you're not quite sure if you buy the same brand all the time, the tubes all look the same, which is what my case is. But here is the special magic. Let me show you what I've got. I made a little reference to it in one of my other videos, but I've got the reds and the oranges. I've got the neutrals, the metals, the golds, and browns. And I have the, the pinks and I have the berries. And I, I enjoy making different changes to my wardrobe, to my hair, to my color. Uh, it, just, it just keeps life fresh and interesting for me. Some people like to have the same thing all the time, all the time. Boring! Mix it up, have some fun with it. But this is a little special way that you can have all your lipsticks at your clutch because probably you know the the average woman probably won't have more than this so here's here's the way you do it and I'm very meticulous about how I label everything too so each of these if you look up close they have a special label with the color like when you're looking in it you're gonna read oh gee maybe I need fuchsia or <laughs> you know you don't need the label on there I just I just got a little crazy with it um, with my exacto knife and my glue stick <laughs> But anyway, you don't have to do that. You don't need to label them because you'll be able to clearly see what colors they are, right, like this. So what this is, I ran into Walmart and got this. It's a bobbin for your sewing machine. It holds bobbins. And you take your, your lipstick tube and just sort of slice it off. It's going to be brand new. And then when you've got this, I had a whole bunch of brand new lipsticks it felt like I'm cutting them off at the knees. I just cut them all off and I placed them in here vertically like this until I had this whole tray full of brand new lipsticks and I popped it into the microwave and every microwave that I am aware of has a little light inside. So I, I turned on the microwave and I watched them go until they melted. And I didn't let them go too much longer after they melted. They weren't boiling or anything. But it filled it in so beautifully that it looks like I bought this this way. But it's not. But now I have this special lip palette that I can take with me and take with me, what, 30 lipsticks? All in one little thing like this. And if, you're, if you do makeover classes, like I did, and you want to share your lipstick samples, just get a little spatula and on, on the lady's little tray or paper plate, you just give them a little color of as many as they want. You don't have to worry about opening up sample after sample after sample after sample and then say, oh, what color was that? What color was that? It's right here. It's right here. When I first started these, another little added benefit, which I, I didn't really consider, I had uh, little children. My, now they're, you know, grown and they, you know, they're teenagers and stuff. But at the time I had a little girl who loved to get in my lipsticks and she would 
rack the lipsticks and I'd be like, ah, oh, my brand new lipstick, ah. Oh. I never, ever feel that way with this anymore. She, I mean, she, honestly, she used to take it and bite it. Like, just bite the whole thing. How gross is that? I'd be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And then it would ruin a lipstick and then, anyway. So this really solves a lot of those little dilemmas, especially if you are also a mother with little children who find it somehow in your purse. And then you just pop this on here. And if you're traveling or something, you may want to stick a little rubber band around it. But again, I got three of these. You know how many lipsticks that is? That's a lot of lipsticks. But then, you know, if you want, if they get all corroded or whatever, just pop them in the microwave again. It'll freshen it up and it'll be a nice flat new layer for you to, um, to start fresh again with. So hopefully that is a great tip on how to keep all of your lipsticks at your fingertips. Pass it along. Thanks, I'm Diane Hanks with Makeover Session.